Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to another wonderful and interesting video tutorial. Here I'll be showing you how to add placeholder text, otherwise known as random text or dummy text here in CorelDRAW. Alright, it's very simple and very easy to do, just like we see. So, um, alright, so let's head on to CorelDRAW. Okay, so, um, placeholder text are mainly used when the design has not yet been concluded so let's take for instance you're done with the design but it needs some content to be added on it like some write-ups so well let's say we see something like lorem ipsum so that's what the placeholder text is being made up of um some random latin words that consist of the all the whole alphabet in the english language right so here's how to add them there are two ways so um you go to your text to here you select the you go to your toolbar then you select the text to here then you draw a text frame where the text will be this is what is called a text frame this thing right here it's called a text frame so so this is how to add the place without text you first of all create a text frame which i just showed now okay let's do it again you select your text tool then you draw your text frame this is called a text frame all right so click on the pick tool then um you click on the text frame you just created here then you right click then you see insert placeholder text all right lorem ipsum and um all these words here these are just random latin words that consist of all the whole um alphabet in the english language so um this here can serve as what the design would be if the informations have been provided so you can show this to your client and tell them this is how the letterhead would be once you've completed the design so place that text can also be used on um, book covers most especially the back book covers so let's say you're done with this design and um you want to send to your client but you can't send it with an empty back like this let's take for instance the information for the back cover design is not ready so you use a place for that text for it so first of all you create a text frame you draw the area where the text will be then um so i'll be showing you the second way on how to add place without text so you create a text frame then you click on your pick tool then you click on the text frame then you go to text under text you go to paragraph text frame then you click on insert placeholder text all right so um you can edit it to your choice Let's take for instance, you go to this area here. Let's undo that, sorry. So you create some little paragraphs. So you just edit it to your own taste. Alright. So as once you're done, you can send this to your client and um you do the some edit here. So you can send it this um the design like this is more presentable you can send it to your client and um for review before the main information has been provided also you can make use of it on um brochures you can just add some random text which are called place other text so let's delete this now so we'll create our text stream here Let's take for instance the information we know provided haven't hasn't been provided yet. So you need to make use of the placeholder text to send to the client first before the main informations have been provided. So you click on the once you create a text frame, then you click on the pick to here, then you come back here and click on the text frame, then right click, insert placeholder text. Alright, so you can increase the size change the color to whatever you want control a to her life can change the color 
can change the font size you can change the font type so you just play around all right and um it can also be used on brochures like i said before so um that is it guys on how to add placeholder text in corel draw and like i said it's very simple and um very very easy to do all right guys if you find this video helpful do have to hit on the subscribe button turn on post notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos and um don't forget to like share and comment on our videos thank you for watching and see you on the next video tutorial